Dear friends, Bonjour, chers amis. Guten Tag, liebe Freunde. Bonjour. Добрый день. Здоровенькие були. Europe is a place like no other. And I'm not just talking about food or football. I'm talking about languages. We are going to explore some essential information about the languages spoken in Europe, including some things you may be surprised to learn. If you speak any one of Europe's many languages, then today is your chance to celebrate. As many may know, today marks European Day of Languages. So, in honor of this annual celebration, we have collected facts about European languages. Let's begin. Yes, let's begin. Let's speak about different languages, different cultures and different people. The European Day of Languages is an annual event held on the 26th of September. Today there are over 200 European languages, 24 official ones. Around 6,000 different languages are spoken around the world. Do you like traveling? I'm sure. Yes, that is why you should learn as many languages as possible. English is the most widely spoken foreign language in Europe. Speaking English is as good as gold. The language of English we need to uphold. It's very fun when you think of it, when you talk to your friend who also loves it. Why is it so important to know more than one language? We live in a multilingual world and any additional language can help you progress in your career. You are quite right. If you go into Europe, sit and learn languages. European languages belong to three distinct groups. Germanic, Romans, and Slavic. German contains the longest word of all European languages. Can you read it? Oh, I can't. Greek and traditional Chinese are the oldest written languages still in use today. Guess what the most widely spoken language is? Huh? That's right, English. English tops the other tongues because it's the favorite second language of Europeans. But the English language is no worth life from all languages that were connected. English is no everywhere, it is great to use it anywhere. You probably know that Latin is still spoken in the Vatican City. But did you know you can also use Latin when taking out cash? Most people have heard of whale famous. <laughs> A village in the northwest of this small country. What is the purpose of the love languages? There are five love languages. Words of statement, acts or service, getting gift, quality time and physical touch. Each one is important and expresses love in its own way. One, two, three, bell well, I'm swide dry. Bell well. Uno dos press. Bell well. You see, everyone should consider learning languages. Hungarian is the hardest language, but I'd like to learn it. Esperanto is the easiest European language to learn. And also, it is not an official language. It is one of Europe's youngest and spoken by more than 2 million people. The French and English languages are false friends. These are same, 
but actually have very different meanings. Take the word sensible in English and sensitive in French. The French meaning of sensible means sensitive in English. La French can't get enough of Spanish. Heart skips a bit when hearing Italian. Are you a language learner about to embark on a journey of studying one of Europe's languages? Or are you about to fulfill lifetime dream to actually travel to Europe? Well, aren't you too daring so? Our Ukrainian language. Be always proud of your native language. Say those beautiful phrases and words loud and proud. More than half of Europeans are bilingual. This means they can talk to you in another language in addition to their mother tongue. It's a linguistic fiesta over there. A linguistic fiesta? Really? Let's meet our friends. They are learning languages. Hello, my dear red friend. Do you speak English? Do you speak German? Do you speak French? No! Oh, I see! You speak your cat language! Since Europeans are big fans of tongue twisters, most English speakers will be familiar with the popular She shall see no! She shall see no! She saw seashells on the seashore! And finally! Did you know that Leonardo DiCaprio speak German? Or that Johnny Depp is fluent in French? A lot of languages, a lot of sounds, but English is the best. Love is a language shouted so hard or whispered softly by a lover's heart. My dear Ukrainians, love your Ukraine, low as you root the sun, the wind, the grasses, and the stream together. Thank you. Merci. Danke. Grazie. Dziękuję.